Hello everyone, Violet here. Um, so today I have some catching up to do for NaNoWriMo. This is a NaNoWriMo vlog. I'm doing one every day in November during the NaNoWriMo challenge, um, which is National Novel Writing Month, <laughs> by the way. So let me know in the comments below if you're doing it. Um, but today I have some catching up to do. So I am going to um, do three writing sprints, basically. I'm going to, um, I've got three different times today where I'm gonna write for one full hour each time. And um, one of them is my first time attending a Discord NaNoWriMo writing sprint. Um, so let me know if you attend those and what your experience has been like with them. But um, I'm really excited for that and I hope that it goes well. And yeah, I guess I wanted to talk today about writing sprints and distraction. And um, yesterday I found like, oh my goodness. Okay, well, first of all, I don't use a smartphone. So um, all of my writing, like if I'm handwriting, um, that is pretty much distraction free, which is fantastic. However, I, um, <clears throat> When I'm working on my computer, I notice such a difference because then I can check my email, I can check all sorts of things. I mean, obviously I'm writing on Discord tonight, so I'll be on my computer. It's so much faster to type. Um, I'll do a video one of these days on the difference between handwriting and typing because I'm kind of doing half and half. So I think that'd be a great thing to talk about. But um, the distractions are like, huge. And I think this is really important since most people I think are writing with their phone nearby or most people do write on the computer and it's one of those things like you hear it and it's true. It's like yes let's like turn off all the apps and all of the um, possibilities to search and all of that to um, really focus in on writing but actually doing it actually doing it makes the world of difference and I think it comes down to um, when you get into that flow state and it takes some time to get into it once you get into that flow state you want to stay there as long as possible and if you look up something even if you're just like researching something for your novel if you look up something it's going to take away from that flow state and you basically have to start all over so one thing I've been doing, which is some advice I've heard um, a few different places, is to just write. If I need to research something, I just put in there, look this up later. Um, because I don't want to get caught up in, in anything but writing, essentially. Now when I'm in that flow state, um, it's shocking how quickly I can get the words on the paper and get the amount of words that I'm looking for. Um, so one thing I want to experiment between is whether or not I should be looking at my word count as I'm writing. So um, I'd be curious what you think. A lot of the word sprints have like word count goals, you know. Um, I'm kind of thinking of it more like time, although each day has a word count go goal. I'm trying to think of like one solid hour of writing. So again, I'd love to hear your experience with word sprints. and. Um, yeah, it's a really simple message about distractions, but I think it's like, it's a really important one. So what's your relationship with distractions been? And um, do you have any tips? Because I'm pretty new at all of this, so I'm learning as I go and it's going really well. Um, I'm definitely behind a bit, but I'm trying to uh, write more each day and catch up and keep going. And right now I'm feeling like, you know what? Even though I got behind, I have written every single day except for one <laughs> at the very beginning. But anyway, um, just even just doing that, keeping up the momentum a little bit, even if it's not my full goal, that is worth it. That's worth something. And like last night, I certainly didn't write as much as I wanted to, but I got a chunk in and um, that's helpful. And just like keeping the ball rolling, I think is really important. Anyway, let me know how it's going for you in the comments below. And if you're here, um, if you're feeling distracted by YouTube, this is important, then um, take this as a sign to get off of YouTube and get writing. <laughs> and yes, again, let me know how it goes. I'll see you tomorrow for another video and happy writing.